Hello, welcome to this demonstration on the clamshell, clamshell leak testing tools. Uh, my name is Paul Cruikshank. I'm working at CERN in the technology department. I'm responsible for the cold vacuum systems of the LHC and uh, within that uh, mandate we had to make a leak testing of the entire LHC during its installation and the clamshell tool was developed directly for those applications. One of the problems with the pipeline is that this could be several kilometers long and we would have a series of sequential welds. The problem here is that in order to make a leak test you would have to put this system under vacuum therefore we'd have to be closed and in pipeline systems that's not so obvious. So the clamshell tool, instead of creating a vacuum on the inside of the tube, we create a vacuum on the outside of the tube. Now we can demonstrate the clamshell tool in that uh, situation. So the idea is that the clamshell tool is put in place and it cr creates a small volume outside of the tube. So we close the system and there's a connection piece which now allows us to connect the clamshell tool to the leak detector. So the connections are very simple and very straightforward. There's a, a soft seal inside the system and a, an all, meta, uh, all metallic tube and of course this system could this could be vary between a short distance and anything up to a few meters so before we put the system under, under vacuum we can have maybe have a look at a few of the features so there's a narrow volume which is trapped around the weld we have a very soft sealing uh, membrane on both sides on both sides of the weld and there's an interface point where the clamshell is closed with a, with a, 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 um, a contacting seal and a velcro system which keeps the contact under uh, to keep the system closed. Now the action of the vacuum when my colleague switches on the leak detector will further compress due to atmospheric pressure. So now the leak detector which has its own pump will create now a vacuum inside this volume and soon we'll start to register a new residual value which is measuring the helium content inside the volume. Now we have a residual in the 10 to the minus 9 millibar liters per second. So this is a very fine sensitivity test and we can see that the system is simply clamped on the, the, the free surface of the tube. So now in order to test whether the system is, is tight or not, we could have two situations. We could already have had helium inside the tube, so therefore if there were to be a leak, the helium would now come through the weld and the leak detector would register a high value. At the moment it's not registering a high value, it's registering a very low value, minus nine, which means the system is essentially leak tight. The possibility now is that we could flood the pipeline with helium by introducing helium at this point either uh, from a main plant with helium supply or with a local jet. Of course if this pipeline were to be several kilometers long we could flood uh, from a main uh, gas bottle. When the test is finished we can now stop the leak detector. Okay the system is back at atmospheric pressure we remove the clamshell test Okay, we heard the vacuum breaking as the clamshell opened and now we can consider this leak, this uh, welded uh, position to be validated. Here uh, we have an example of an asymmetric weld. We need to avoid that the, the weld to be tested is in contact directly with the clamshell because this could close a potential leak which we're trying to identify. So in the asymmetric case we use an additional uh, tool which keeps a spacing between the weld and the clamshell. So this is a temporary fixture, two half shells, and now the clamshell can be put in place. So we have exactly the same configuration as the simple clamshell the pumping device, the split point and the velcro strap. 
These clamshells can exist in many different sizes. They can go down to about 10 millimeters or up to about 300 millimeters. So this is for an open pipe configuration. We have the asymmetric case and then we have a final case which shows a rather special configuration. In some pipelines we, we may end up with a, uh, uh, a fixed flat uh, flange so we can imagine here there's many tens of meters of pipeline and we have an end cap which is welded in place it could be the point at which uh, a system is either incomplete or whether it will be for further upgrade and here we have a clamshell tool which will fit as we can uh, as we can uh, imagine it will fit directly onto the end face, it will keep the zone free of the weld, which is the point we want to test, and we place the clamshell tool directly onto the, onto the welded piece to be tested. Again, we make the connection. Of course, there's no split here, so it's a more simplified tool, but directly using the same technology to make a local vacuum on the outside of the pipe as opposed to a vacuum on the inside of the pipe. Okay, we've talked about the general uh, usage of the, of the leak detector and the clamshell tool. Of course, this is applicable here at CERN for the high technology uh, projects we're working on, but it's equally applicable where we need to make uh, high quality leak testing and therefore in the aerospace, the space, the pipeline, uh, the uh, oil industries, this technology is directly applicable for all pipeline applications.